All right, we are back on some technical difficulties. Apparently, there's not enough network out on the lawn, so we moved up to the main area. So it's going to start with the uh, four beers we have here, and I'm at Apocalypse Ale Works, and we're trying eight different variants that they make on the weekends or whatever, kind of get creative. Um, we have things like pineapple hot apocalypse, a uh, orange blueberry sensor, a uh, raspberry sinful, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and let's get started. I'm going to start with the orange blueberry sinful, the orange blueberry sensor. So. The nose is kind of like a like a smoothie. You get the orange and the blueberry right off the bat. But it's really fresh. I'm now also getting strawberry. I don't know if that's in there, but got these uh, official Apocalypse L cups. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very smooth, very light, as you would expect from a wheat beer. Um, orangey. Blueberry is there, but it's very subtle. It's kind of just like a blood orange punch, and then blueberry at the very end. Um, so that's the orange blueberry uh, sensor. So next, we'll be trying the raspberry sinful. And let's try it. This smells like raspberry lemonade like lemonade iced tea. Very sharp, sour smell. Kind of like a citrusy smell. Hmm. It's not raspberry, but it's mostly like a sour raspberry kind of smell. So let's give it a taste. It's okay. Um, I don't like these kind of beers. The Sinful is a Belgian, Sinful Belgian style. Um, but it's still good. It's, it has that same Belgian characteristics where it's kind of a floral or fruity taste to it. But they added raspberry to it, so it kind of you kind of don't get that unless you're really looking for it. Uh, you mostly just get raspberry. Um, also, please comment if you have a hard time hearing what I'm saying. All right, this is the dragon fruit, and I don't know what kind a uh, style of beer it is, but the head on it's really interesting. It's super pulpy. Um, uh, honestly, the head is not very um, appealing, uh, but it is intriguing. It's very thick and pulpy and kind of specks in it. But, yeah, let's give it a smell. Kind of a yeasty smell. Um, kind of like yeast bread smell, like really bready and yeasty, and kind of sharp. I don't know if I know what palm, uh, dragon fruit smells like. I know what it tastes like. But, I don't know. Let's give it a taste. Really thick. Hmm. Let's get some water to cleanse the palate. Raspberries are for chumps. Okay, now, now I can kind of smell the dragon fruit. I don't know. The thickness in the head is really weird. It's like, I don't know, I, I don't know if I'm down with that. Look how thick the pulp is and everything. I'm honestly not getting a lot of flavor, but it may be because these got kind of warm. I'm not really sure. Yeah, 
very mild flavor, um, kind of a kind of a dragon fruit flavor. Honestly, the smell is a lot more than the taste. Um, I'm not wowed by it. It's not a bad beer. It's kind of just one I would forget about. But hey, good job experimenting. This is the uh, Pineapple Apocalypse. I saved this for last because I'm really excited about that. Um, but I'm going to take a minute and cleanse my nose with some coffee beans. Because that's what you do. I'm excited for this one. Red Apocalypse Ale is one of my favorites that Apocalypse Ale Brewery makes because it's amazing. It's the right alcohol content. Um, and you don't taste any booziness. It's red. It's tons of hops. The IBUs is at 100. It's amazing. I really enjoy it. Um, but it also has that crisp taste, very balanced with malt, and then just that punch of bitterness that I'm always looking for in a beer. So Let's try it out. Oh, man. See, and I love pineapple, and I love Red Hypocalypse, so this is only going to be good. Oh, wow. This is the vacation for the hop lovers tongue. The palate of hop lovers vacation right here. You know, putting fruit in beer is, is a thing now, and I'm saying to y'all, it's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's really fresh. Um, it's sweet because it has that pineapple, but the best part about it is it's still an apocalypse ale and it is bites you at the end with that hop. I love it. That was awesome. Um, well, that's the four. We have four more to go. I'm going to go down to the brewery, the uh, bartender, and we're going to get a few more. So stand by. I'm going to pick you guys up and we're going to go to the brewery. I am. Wow. All right. I only had a little bit of peach. I'll give you these three first. Okay. I'll say yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Too hot. Well, then, uh, um, the Wi Fi didn't reach. Uh, okay. One Wi Fi. Then you can probably just take this cup mm -hmm. and ask. That way they still match. I don't know if you, that matters, but you can ask Wes to give you the fourth or the eighth one. Okay. Right. Okay.